Hi friends, today I'm going to read Olivia and the Haunted Hotel. Look at all that rain, exclaimed Olivia. Thunder and lightning too. I love spooky weather. Did you have fun at school today? asked Mother. Before anyone could answer, there was enormous boom of thunder. Ian and Olivia yelled, Woohoo! I know the perfect game to play when we get to my house, said Olivia. Welcome to the Hotel Olivia. Olivia greets her guests. Please come in and make yourselves at home. Wow, it's so big, Francine says. This is nothing, answers Olivia. You to see my other hotels. Olivia's house made a perfect hotel. I'd like a room, please, Francine requested. Me too, said Julian. I mean, a different room. Maybe one with a TV. Of course, Olivia replied politely. That shouldn't be a problem. There was a flash of lightning. Woo! Tap, tap, tap. The wind whistled and tree branches tapped on the window panes. What was that sound? asked Julian nervously. Sounds like a ghost, Francine said, trembling. Ghost? The Hotel Olivia has no ghosts. Olivia answered firmly. Follow me, please. This is your room, Francine, said Olivia, opening a door. No offense, Olivia, said Francine, but I'd like another room. This one smells like boy. I'll take it, said Julian. I already smell like boy. Does it come with room service? Of course, Olivia answered, opening the door to a second room. All our rooms do. They also come with fluffy towels and chocolates on the pillows. That's what makes Hotel Olivia the fanciest hotel in the world. I love my new room, cried Francine. This is the best hotel ever. Bring! A bell rang from downstairs. Excuse me, said Olivia. I think I have another customer. I'm sorry, but the Hotel Olivia is completely full, Olivia told Ian. No fair, complained Ian. Mom, Olivia says all the rooms in her hotel are taken. Olivia, I'm sure you can find a room for Ian somewhere in the large hotel, said Mother. This is our last room, Olivia announced. You'll love the privacy. Plus, the soaps are free. But you'll have to leave when the other guests need to use the bathroom. Never mind. I don't want to stay at this hotel anyway, said Ian. Besides, I heard there were ghosts. Ghosts, repeated Francine and Julian. Room service kept Olivia very busy, too busy to play with her brother. She delivered lunches, made beds, cleaned up dog toys, and soothed, soothed frightened guests. It's just the hotel laundry, reassured Olivia. That gave Ian an idea. Suddenly, there was a, lo a loud bang, and everything went dark. <gasps> hey, who turned off the lights? yelled Francine, alarmed. The storm must have knocked the power out, guessed Julian. Or a ghost did, whispered Francine. I told you, Francine, said Olivia. There are no ghosts at this hotel. Boo! 
screamed Francine. Ah, I see it too, screamed Julian. Where? There are no ghosts at the Hotel Olivia, Olivia repeated. Francine and Julian huddled together. Well, I saw a ghost, said Francine, and I don't want to stay in this spooky hotel anymore. Me neither, Julian agreed. This hotel is haunted. Look at that ghost. Hmm. If I do have a ghost in my hotel, then I'm going to have to get rid of it, Olivia thinks. Good thing I have a ghost -a meter ah, I knew it was you, Ian, said Olivia. Then she called downstairs. Mom, Ian is scaring my guests. Well, Olivia, maybe Ian just wants to play. Mother called back. Hmm, said Olivia. I know, Ian. How would you like to be the room service waiter? Cool, said Ian. Welcome to breakfast at the Ghost Free Hotel Olivia, said Ian the next morning. Today we are serving our world famous pancakes. Yum, said Francine. Double yum, said Julian. More pancakes, anyone? asked Mother. The end. And that is Olivia and the Haunted Hotel. See you guys later.